Yeah, I know this great pizza place. I like pizza. I like pizza. <laughs> Give me some pizza. I like pizza. I like it. Hello there, I'm Robert, and we are late to the party, and it's another episode of Better, Better Late, late than, than Never, Never. Music Edition. Non-musicals, music-related films, there is a difference. Last week, we ended up doing Sweeney Todd, and our party planning committee on our Patreon has voted for our next film, which is one that got a lot of acclaim at the Academy Awards one year. I remember, it's, I just remember people were talking about how this movie was amazing and you need to see it. And Miles Teller was a big name and we already knew that J. Jonah Jameson was badass. Yeah. And then you had Damien Chazelle being the director, which I love La La Land. So, uh, and that style, but then I didn't watch Babylon. So Let's see how he did with this one, because Whiplash came before, so yeah. Funny enough, you didn't see what came before or what came after. You just saw La La Land for Damien Chazelle. Yeah. But, uh, well, J First Man was also his, but I didn't see that either. Sure, we'll put it on the list. But J.K. Yeah. Simmons is uh, what a lot of people were talking about just because he was so intense. But I heard he is stellar as well as Miles Teller. Yeah. And I'm really excited to watch this movie. If you want to check out our full movie watch along to Whiplash or any of the other movies that we watch, they are available on our Patreon. And if you've not subscribed, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we drop reactions to old movies, recent movies, uh, through Better Late Than Ever. There's plenty on the channel already, so make sure you check it out. But let's get into Whiplash now. now. Fortune favors the bold. All right, Matt Damon. <laughs> Blumhouse, huh? I was going to say, this ain't a horror movie. <laughs> Could be a lot of head bobbing in this movie. Whiplash. <laughs> Getting some of that upper body strength there, huh? I need it. Just reminds me of Garth in Wayne's World when he's doing his drum solo in the <laughs> guitar store. I like to play. I'm sorry. No, stay. Hmm. So you know I'm looking for players. Then why did you stop playing? <laughs> Touche. All right. <laughs> did I ask you to start playing was... again? <laughs> I asked I why you stopped playing, and your version of an answer was to turn into a wind-up monkey. Damn. Sorry, I thought Show me your rudiments. Gets you all flustered. Yeah. Double it. Back. Nope. Damn. Oopsie daisy. Forgot my jacket. <laughs> yeah, it just throws you off completely. Right. Mind games. Yeah. Got that jazz. I just gave me a Chazelle, so you know the music's gonna be good. Get to see a bit of the city. New York City. New York City. Swedish fish? No, not today. Gross. Hey. I hate Swedish fish. Supergirl. Oh. Melissa, Melissa Barrera? Yeah. No, no. That's a girl from Scream. Yeah, but her name's Melissa, too. Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> All riser. I prefer peanut M and M's. Yeah, I do. The, I I'm more impartial to the peanut M and M's. Sorry. That's a dick move. Yeah. I just eat around them. I don't understand you. <laughs> <laughs> He's just is like me. He's all scarred up. Like I don't recall him ever having those scars. <laughs> Making his rounds. Yeah. Really big on the bottom, yeah. Put some sugar on it. He's got a reputation. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. Yeah. He sees all. I guess. Practice, practice, practice. He already is in his head, you know. That's why he's still practicing. Yeah. For what he made him do. Visualize it. Core players, let's go. Okay. So is he like a backup? That's an entrance. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yep, you're done. Maybe not. He's like the soup Nazi. <laughs> he has a specific 
you know, thing that he wants. And he doesn't want to waste his time. Yep. Came back to you. Drums with me. Woo. Thank you, George. No, no, no. Other drums. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. You need your confidence, man. Yeah. I get it. It's intimidating. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Don't be late. <laughs> Have some animosity towards that, huh? I mean, everyone's always trying to be the best. That's true. So you're going to have a lot of haters as you fight your way to the top. Look, there you go. Yeah. Would you want to go out with me ever? Please go away. Okay. Aww. I'm just messing yeah. with you. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Probably not the best time to be getting a girlfriend, though, if you're about to go on this venture of learning. I mean, it got a little boost of confidence there. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I know this great pizza place. I like pizza. I like pizza. <laughs> Give me some pizza. I like pizza. I like it. 7 p.m. Monday. And All right. There you go. It's going to interfere with your training, though. It can. You already called it. <laughs> Especially something as in intense as what we've already seen so far. Uh-oh. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Not good. Not Ugh. Yeah, he's not gonna be in there. I feel like he's a very punctual type person. Of course. Six o'clock or he's almost military. Yeah. Militaristic. Huh. Or maybe he's making you wait. I mean maybe he wanted him there at six. Yeah, I think so, but he didn't he didn't get there at six. You get a nap I was in band for three years. Played the trumpet. I didn't really enjoy it. On the dot. Yep. I don't know why, but I have a feeling he's going to see it. Like, what are you doing here? Yeah. Like, get out of here. You weren't here. Yeah. No eye contact. Ooh. Whiplash. It's advanced. I barely got a hang of hot cross buns. Those close ups of all the instruments, too. Yeah. Paige! You gotta be on it! He's just studying it and not really paying attention. If that is not your boyfriend's dick, do not come early. It's <laughs> one thing I don't miss about being in band. Why your teacher was like that? No, just all the spit. Uh -oh. A lot of spit yeah. in your instruments. Get it all nice and lubricated. <laughs> We have an out-of-tune player here. Would that player care to identify himself? This is your last chance. And there it went. Or you don't know you're out of tune is even worse. Shit. Yeah. You don't belong there. Tell me it's not you, Elmer Fudd. Do you think you're out of tune? There's no fucking Mars bar down there. What are you looking at? Yes. Then why the fuck didn't you say so? Damn, because man. I didn't want to get yelled at. <laughs> Good damn. Get the fuck out. Shit, dude, that's so aggressive. Unnecessary. But it's his way, it's his method. Yeah. Unnecessary, but method. Yeah, I get it. For the record, Mets was not a tune. You were, Erickson. But he didn't know. And that's bad enough. Shit. Wow. That's fucked up. It is pretty messed up, though. I mean, I get that, like... He literally wants he a wants fine to be oiled machine. Tree, but he also wants them to be like confident enough to be like, no, I'm not, sir. Sure. I'm not out of tune. Yeah. You're weak. You're out of line. Yeah. You're weak. <laughs> yeah. Needs a fine tuned instrument. Yeah. Literally. What about your mother? What does she do? I don't know. She left when I was a baby. The key is to just relax. Don't worry about the numbers. You're here for a reason. Say it. I'm here for a reason. Believe it. It's mind games. Yeah. He's going to try and get the best out of you in a very untraditional way. Just do your best. Nope. Oh, Dude, God. He's going to drag you through the coals. He's going to annihilate you. Yeah, something's going to happen. Oh, don't put your guard down. You got Buddy Rich here. Nope. Um, or maybe? No, I don't think so. Little trouble there. Let's pick it up at 17. Not, not quite my tempo. 
Not quite my tempo. It's all good. No worries. Here we go. Dragging just a hair. You gotta be precise. Like he said, I throw a symbol at you. Were you rushing or were you dragging? I, I don't know. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three. Nope. Three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rushing or dragging? Rushing. So you do know the difference. I didn't know they allowed retards into Schaefer. Am I to understand that you cannot read tempo? Ba -ba 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 what are you, in a fucking acapella group? Play the goddamn kit. <laughs> You need the confidence. You gotta have the confidence to back you up, and he's breaking you down. Uh, oh, uh, nope. No. There's no. no crying and whiplash. Do I look like a double fucking rainbow to you? <sighs> you must be upset. Are you upset? I get it. No. I would be crying too. I'd be like, oh my god. I'd probably be laughing, and then he'd get even more mad and throw <laughs> me out or hit me with the chair. <laughs> you are a worthless, friendless. Lip little piece of shit whose mommy left daddy when she figured out he wasn't Eugene O'Neill. Say it louder! I'm upset! Start practicing harder, Neiman. That's why he got that info out of you. He's gonna use it against you. Yeah. God, you gotta be so damn precise, man. Yeah. You gotta be on your A game. For him? Yeah. You gotta be a pro. I mean, you are nowhere near pro right now. Aww. <laughs> I like a rock band. Yeah, that was, a, that was <laughs> okay. great. I guess it's amateur, though, you know, because anybody can start a rock band. I guess. And if you can't handle it, then you don't belong there, essentially. But granted, he's incredibly verbally abusive and physically abusive. Yeah. Which probably wouldn't fly in a school, you would think. Right. It's like, I get that you're trying to get the best out of them, but like... Sometimes I had a, you go a little too overboard with it. I had a, a third grade teacher, man, and this dude was brutal. Third grade. Third grade. I was going to say grade. third grade. Brutal. And then I had him again in fifth grade. He oh, loved good. me, though. Uh -oh. Loved me. But he would throw markers and chalk at people and hit them in the face, like, hard when they would slip up or talk or something. One of the best teachers I ever had. One of many. Just don't forget about your date. Whenever that's supposed yeah, to happen. he's going to forget. Yeah, you need more than a Band-Aid. Two Band-Aids. Uh, he's going to lose all confidence for a little while. Yeah. My mom said I had a really big chin, and that's why guys wouldn't like me. Aw. Your chin's very... I Nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> it's, it's a trend. <laughs> what do you study? I don't have a major yet. So Fordham was just like a random school? No, I, I applied to a bunch of schools and Fordham let me in. Do I sound like a little hostility there? I mean, she's aimless right now. Completely understandable. I still don't know what I want to do. I'm from Arizona and I think they could see it. That's nice. We have a connection. Maybe. <laughs> they touch feet. You come play in my band? Would you like that? Be my piano player? He's so kind when he wants to be. Listen up, cocksuckers! <laughs> and just like that. Yep. By a bunch of fucking limp dick sour note flatter than their girlfriend's flexible tempo dipshits. Got it? <laughs> if I ever find one of these lying around again, I swear to fucking God, get the fuck out of my sight before I demolish you. I can still fucking see you, mini me! <laughs> wow what a dick <laughs> i kind of like him though even though he's horrible i respond to authority <laughs> <laughs> okay a little bit about me i respond to strong leadership the way that he like yells at them and stuff it just kind of reminds me back in like basic training when it would come right in your face phrasing oh you know what I meant. <laughs> Yell in your face. You can say basic training's changed a lot. Yeah. No, don't, no, don't. He is just no, fucking no. up. You better pick that shit up. <sighs> he he probably found it and took it. Yeah. Where's the folder? Did you see a How could you be so fucking stupid? I know, maybe a janitor came by or something. A janitor? Yeah. A fucking janitor! You're yeah. a dumb fuck! You know how serious he is. Neiman lost it. Neiman lost it. You give a calculator to a fucking retard, he's gonna try to turn on a TV with it and get your ass on stage. 
I, I, I can't. You didn't memorize it. Don't know the charts uh, by heart. Are you fucking kidding me? Neiman does. I, 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 you know this. I need visual cues. Visual cues. What, you fucking Sanjay Gupta? Play the goddamn music. I can't. I can. It's like, you motherfucker, you fucking sabotaged me. It looks that way. <laughs> Although uh, it doesn't, he, it's not like, it looks that way. And I hope you played a whole lot better than you did last month in rehearsal. Damn, it's yes, been a whole month. month. <laughs> time flies. Yeah. That's a good way to tell us so that time's progressing. Right. Losing the folder definitely reminded me we had to keep like a satchel with us at whole times. And if we forgot it, wasn't good. And uh, me and another girl forgot it once and they made us do like burpees forever. This worse. <laughs> nope. And then nice. I never forgot it after that. This is a big win for you if you could pull it off. Yeah. You, you right. can't tell if he's happy or pissed off. And in first place, Schaefer Conservatory. Oh! That's a big win. That is huge. He's not going to let that go to your head, though. He's no. still going to rag on you for the stuff you didn't do right. Yeah. Don't fucking touch my folder, man. <laughs> yeah, I see. It does look bad. Do not touch this kid. Tanner, what are you doing? It's core only today. I don't have time for alternates. Oh, shit. You're not core no more. From the top. <gasps> oh. You're out. Oh, shit. Shit. I ain't your kid no more, buddy. No. I mean, I get it. Don't he showed up. Pages. Yeah. Three, four, two, Look at that little three, smirk. Four. Yeah. Maybe next time you don't give your thing to him. Your folder. Yeah, I think he likes me more now. And his opinion means a lot to you, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because you just don't want to get yelled at. <laughs> I'm, I'm the new core drummer. So. Yeah. 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 They don't care. They moved on. Drive got named this year's MVP. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. <laughs> and Andy, with your drumming. Let's go. Okay. Come along, afterthought. Yeah, right? Well, how, do you, how do you know when's in a music competition? Isn't it subjective? Not when there's judges. Are you going to tell them about your game this week? Yeah. Huh? Living up to your title. Oh, my. A little hint of condescension. Yeah. It's Division Three. Oh, shit. Oh, he's breaking you down a bit. Yeah. Football's not even Division Two. <sighs> Yeah. Uh, a little bit coming through right there. I'm sure they'll make great school board presidents someday. Oh, that's what this is all about? You think you're better than us? <laughs> Get real quick and model you in. Come play with us. Four words you will never hear from the NFL. <laughs> that's his teacher talking, too. Yeah. He's starting to get a little fire in his belly. I mean, I feel like they started it. He just rebuttaled back. Passively, yes. Yes, yeah. they were very passive aggressive. I, I mean, I'm it. kind of with him, though. I'd be like, bitches, stop talking about me in this way. It's true. <laughs> and I won't talk like that to you. You made it seem you were better than me. Now I'm saying I'm better than you, but more directly. Yeah. At least he was direct. It's true. Still, now it caused a lot of conflict that was unnecessary in the first place. I guess. Especially amongst family. Yeah, but it's family, so... That's true. There's always going to be conflict. I recently stumbled across another kid in a practice room working on his double time swing. Ooh. So I'm going to give him a shot. Damn, damn, damn. You got competition. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I feel like he's doing this to fire you up again. Connolly, I've made Neiman a temporary core. But... Damn, temporary core. Maybe he was being too cocky then. <laughs> Not quite my tempo. I can do it. Nope. We'll go with Connolly now. He's destroying and rebuilding him and destroying and rebuilding him. It seems like it, yeah. Perfect, Connolly. Nope. No. Yeah, nope. Yeah, you're right. He's doing this for him. Yep. <laughs> my God. You, are you serious? Okay. That shit? <laughs> yeah. He wants to see it. He wants to know that you know. He wants to know that you can call it out, yeah. that you're going to stand up when it's bad. Play it, okay? I said not now! Uh -oh. If you want the fucking part, earn it. What was that phone call? This is why I don't think that we should be together. No! Because I'm doing that, it's gonna take up more and more of my time, and I'm not gonna be able to spend as much time with you. And Shouldn't you know, even bother, dude. Those reasons, I'd rather just, you know, break it off clean. I mean, I get it. Thanks. I wanna be one of the greats. Yeah, he's going for legendary. You won't be able to give me the time of day because you have bigger things to pursue. 
That's exactly my point. You're horrible. What's wrong with you? Yeah, you're horrible. Yeah. I was direct again, though, and there's I mean, probably I get truth that you're to it. you're direct, and there is truth to it, and I respect him for, like, saying, hey, I want to do it's this. It's true. Tact, buddy. He's just so focused, and he's just learning way too much from his instructor. Yeah. Yeah, dude, he's pulling the aggression out of him, and that's a problem. It's like the dark side of freaking drumming. Use your anger. You gotta do it with soul, with love, with heart. And he's doing it with aggression and overthinking it. Six years ago, came across a kid in a practice room working on his scales, cursing himself because he couldn't get his scales right. Sounds familiar. Marsalis made him third trumpet at Lincoln Center. His name was Sean Casey. Was. <clears throat> oh. What happened? Sean died yesterday in a car accident. Damn. That just shows his connection to his pupils. Yeah. No one of you guys to know he was a beautiful player. Show another side of him. I just thought you should know. Just shows that if you could break through that wall, you've made a lifelong mentor. Yeah. It's your turn. It's not. Not quite right, Connolly. Um, I'd like to try Neiman on this. Smirk. <laughs> yeah, it was like your punishment, I guess. It wasn't even punishment. It was just for him to destroy him and rebuild him again. Knock him down a couple pegs. Nope, I guess not. Tanner? Oh, shit, or not. He's not done breaking you down. Motherfucker! Oh, yeah, nothing's going to be right. Jeez. As it takes until one of you gets can play in time. You hear me, cocksuckers? You better start shitting me perfect 400s. No wonder mommy ran out on you. Get off the fucking kid. Just play faster than you give fucking hand jobs, will you please? So what? fucked up. And his hands play too. The Irish Mick fucking Patty Cracker now. I think I'm gonna start calling you Flannery. Uh. Oh, wow. He just goes for the low blows, man. Yeah. It's fucked up. Breaking, you guys. Fully breaking. Don't slow down. Faster! Trying to throw you off. Don't listen to it. So bloody. You do it? Maybe. I don't know. You weren't the part. Shit. Alternate, you want to clean the blood off my drum set? Shit. Damn. Yeah, man. Making me work okay, for it. Okay, we can it. start now. Shit. You haven't even started. Damn. <laughs> too much. It's too intense. Like, you crazy? But they're so damn dedicated that they'll put up with it. Give yourselves at least two hours to get there from the city this time, all right? It's like an addict. Exhausted. He's obsessed. Oh, that sucks. Damn. I mean, it could be obsession, but it also could be like dedication. I guess there's a fine line there, huh? And sometimes that blurs. I mean, if it starts harming your life physically, emotionally, socially, it becomes obsession. Oh, no. Call an Uber. Did Uber exist back then? Oh, no. Dude. Was that like his his drumsticks and everything? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna be there, okay? Fuck! You don't have your shit. Connolly's playing the part. Yeah, like fucking hell he's playing my part. What the fuck did you just say to me? Uh-oh. Can't step up to him. It's my part. It's my part, and I decide who to lend it to. Usually it's somebody that has fucking sticks. Shit. Yeah. You got nothing. Back off, Yo, bro. fuck off, Johnny Utah! Turn my pages, bitch! <laughs> oh, yeah. damn, dude. By the time you're done at Schaefer, you're going to make Daddy look like a fucking success story. Yeah, take him down a peg a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I that's what he's doing. You got ten minutes, you fucking... You ain't got pathetic, nothing. You ain't got your sticks. No. Nope. You don't got... Are you going to go back and pick him up? And I'm coming, you motherfucker! Shit. Oh, my God! What the hell? And he'll still be like, I'm still fucking get there. I did not see that shit coming. Damn. And it's a rental. Uh, that's bad. 
This is what obsession and addiction looks like. Yeah. Sir, sure, get off. Sure. No, you don't have to go. God. Yeah, this is. Oh my God. Looks like he stepped out of Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> Bro, Jesus. you're walking dead. You gonna let him do it? I think he is. Look at him. This is wild. This is insane. I'm speechless. Uh. Oh. Uh, what the fuck? Why'd you let him play? Look at him. Yeah. I mean, is this even real? Can't be 100%. What's the point? Demon. You're done. No one you're beat, man. Uh, Dude, that's come that's on. Get off me. Get off me. Jesus, fuck you. Man. Fuck you. Blood all over his jacket. Shit. Blood on the symbol. Yeah. Can't believe that all actually happened. Yeah. They're gonna kick you out of school. Does the name Sean Casey mean anything to you? Last month he hanged himself in his apartment. His mother claims this started during his time as Fletcher's student to make sure that Terrence Fletcher is never allowed to do this to another wow, student. Oh yeah. Because you're the next case. He emotionally Damn. battered him. Dismissed. Did you characterize his conduct as extreme, Andrew? Emotionally battered you, physically as well. Fletcher would never know it was you who spoke up. Just tell me what to say. Mm. You going after him? So much for being one of the greats. Summer. Loaded the pantry up with gushers. Saw that. Gushers are great. <laughs> I love gushers. I do love gushers. I'm not a fan. I don't like the consistency. Dude, you burn that bridge. Leave her alone. It's everywhere. Yeah. The jazz advertisement, the street performers, the pizza. <laughs> now you get to be uh, an audience member to him. Oh, let's see how this goes. I'd hackle him. Not my tempo! Here you go, JK. Get some. Because <laughs> knowing that, man, they probably did learn how to play the instruments, too. Properly. To some capacity, I'm sure. Sure. To do this part, I'm sure. I mean, like, uh, I know Ryan Gosling did the La La Land, so... Why not? The passion is there for the music that you would figure the artists themselves would want to put in that level of passion. It's good to stop you. Andrew. How did he get over there so fast? <laughs> There's a softer side to him, and he's seen it multiple times. I'm not a Schaefer anymore. Fuck. Yeah, I, I, I did hear that. Although why anybody would have anything other than peaches and cream to say about me is <laughs> yeah. a mystery. At least he's aware. I wasn't there to conduct. I was there to push people beyond what's expected of them. He's a pusher. Put that in the burn book. Check out our reaction to Mean Girls on our channel now. Otherwise, we're depriving the world of the next Louis Armstrong. Yeah, he's trying to make legends. There are no two words in the English language more harmful than good job. You gotta be the best. But is there a line? Yeah. Because the next Charlie Parker would never be discouraged. You don't know that. You're not Charlie Parker. True, but in the way he's like, that next Charlie Parker wouldn't be discouraged, and if they are discouraged, then they're not the next Charlie Parker. It's a paradox. Yeah. And I will never apologize for how I tried. You should, because a lot of your tactics were very inappropriate and True. degrading. Remember when he was in a car accident? <laughs> <laughs> that was a big... Uh, they kind of just brought them like it. was a whiplash of the story right there. Whiplash? That was more than whiplash, though. <laughs> I need somebody who really knows those charts. Oh, man, bringing you back. All Connolly ever was to me was incentive for you. Yep. I keep thinking they're going to end. That's the second long black that they've done. He hasn't practiced, though, so. And his neighbors must hate him. Or at least or they're going to. Hey. Why are you calling her back? It's been a while. It's the worst time again. You're getting back into it. I'm really sorry. I appreciate your apology. Have a good life. JVC thing, and I didn't know if maybe you'd want to go and... Junior varsity? <laughs> <laughs> I 
No, it's <laughs> JVC. It's like a, it's a jazz. Maybe we should have led with that. I was going to check with my boyfriend. Burn. Can you move down? Good. Okay. Bring him along. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I guess uh, maybe I'll, I'll see you guys there. How are you going to handle that? If she shows up with her boyfriend and you can be professional, good on you. You're learning. If you're a little bitch about it, you haven't grown up yet. That's what I love about the ending of La La Land. You know? Like, they're so cordial with everything. It just, life just plays the, out that way sometimes. I love uh, Ryan's, like, head nod. Like, yeah, it's a great ending. Yeah. As soon as the concert starts, I just get up and shit on the drum, the drum kit. And then just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Not my tempo! Tonight could change your life. The folks out there make a phone call. You could be a Blue Note signee. The other thing about these cats is... They never forget. Got him fired and he's still working with him. Yeah. He shouldn't have been in that job anyways. Uh, not with the shit he was doing. You think I'm fucking stupid? What? I know it was you. Oh. <laughs> doing that to fuck with you again? Yeah, I think so. We're going to start out with a new tune. Upswinging. Oh, you dick. Oh, damn. He's getting his revenge on yeah, you. Yeah, he's getting your revenge on you. You know what? Just do it. Do it. Just you got the jazz? The ear, play by ear, play by ear. Yeah, you just got to show that you're a musician. Yeah. Yeah, he's loving watching you struggle. What the fuck you doing? Oh, God, I hope he just finds it and the jazz flows through him. Come on. Come on. Feel it. Yeah, they, they're like, uh, I don't think so. He's having a hell of a he time. Knows. They remember. These cats never forget. Oh, man. We're a joke. The awkward clap. Yeah, right? Like, oh, my God. Yeah, I guess maybe you don't have it. Damn. Damn. We got you. Tagged you back. Now he's going to go out there and like. <laughs> he's going to try again. What? He's going to try again. What are you you already made discouraged. A, you already made a fool of yourself. Keep pushing forward. I'm guessing most of you folks have heard Taking over. He's going to show them what he's got. I'll cue you in. Taking over the show. <laughs> it's fuming a little bit, but I think it's going to win him over. He's like, I'm not going to make you make me feel like a fool out here. <laughs> yeah. Try me, bitch. Not afraid of you anymore. Is that his tempo? There it is. Yeah, look at him, though. He's got a little grin growing. Loving these shots, too. Yeah. Covering everybody. Yep. He's having a good time now. Maybe. The same shot. It's great. Yeah, he's done that shot before. Or, I guess he did it here first and then did it in, in uh, La La Land. <laughs> Poor cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Going back and forth. Look at him. He's having a blast. And at the end, he's like, I'm Charlie Parker, bitch! Yeah. <laughs> Keep it going. Put a little stank on it. I'm done when I say I'm done. Did he go into the other song? I don't even know. He's a machine. Andrew, what are you doing, man? I'll kill you. Yeah, yeah. he ain't stopping. No, he's going to go into the other song. He's on a marathon. Yep. He's going to show you. He's going to show everybody. Bleeding. Yeah. It's like an out of body experience over here. He's in the zone. <laughs> Blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. He's an animal. Too far, man. Too far. This is for uh, him. This is for him. Yeah. 
I am the goods, bitch. Yeah. Everyone in the audience like, uh... Yeah, this ain't for them. Nope. Like at the beginning of the movie. From the beginning of the movie! <laughs> <laughs> Just the two of you. Do it. Let's get into it. Let's go. Yeah, this is it right here. Yeah. <laughs> Found his drummer. Bloody simple. Boom. Go. Yeah. That's all you needed. Oh yeah. my god. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. Woo! Just end it there. That's it. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. Jason Bloom to producing too, man. Yep. And Reitman, Jason Reitman. Whew. I'm stressed. <laughs> so stressed over here. Benoist. Melissa Benoist. Yeah, I feel my whole body relaxing itself. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Like when he was going down, I was like, okay. And then when he told him to go, I was like, no, I'm not ready yet. Let me catch my <laughs> breath. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah. Intense. Intense, for sure. Stressful. So stressful. Who knew that jazz could be so stressful, <laughs> man? It's if, crazy. If you're that dedicated, apparently, yeah, it's wild. It's, uh, and, and it's, it's, uh, this movie, too, that relationship, that mentor, that mentee, that, you know, aspiring for greatness and what it takes to achieve greatness. You know, it's, I love it, but at the same time, man, it is toxic, it is vulgar, it's inappropriate, it's emotionally badgering, like, it's it's not a good thing. Like, J.K. Simmons is horrible, and Miles Teller is just, I guess he just, uh, he took to it. For You know, he was also uh, cut from the same cloth that J.K. Simmons and many other greats are more than likely cut from that cloth. And so, you know, the way he treated Melissa Benoist's character and the way J.K. Simmons seemed to treat everybody, you know, that was aspiring for greatness but wouldn't put themselves to the limit to achieve it, mm -hmm. like, they're terrible. They're horrible. But at the same time, damn it, they're good. Damn it, they're good and they know their shit. So you got to have, like, this appreciation for it. But, uh, yeah, no, I would not ever endure that level of torture and punishment and badgering to uh, reach that level. But that's why I'm never going to be one no of the great. No, Charlie Barker. Yeah. You're not going to Paris. <laughs> You're not going to Paris. <laughs> You're not going to Paris. But, no, it was uh, as intense as it was and the yeah, back and forth there's... between the two of them. Like that, that, that was the movie right there. Right. It, it really was. And I just feel like, you know, you have that fine line of uh, dedication, but then when it comes to like being obsessed and overly obsessed from that too is not good. It's dangerous. It's very dangerous. And you can kind of see it here too, uh, that you, 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 he had those ups and downs on himself too, just like, you know, picking up the pen tempo and bringing the tempo down and they did a really good job. J.K. Simmons, I, I hats off to him for for this. Like, I don't want to get on his bad side. Did he win the Oscar for this? I don't even remember. I, remember. I know he was nominated. I don't even remember if Miles Teller was nominated or the. I don't have no clue what ended up happening with uh, with the Academy Awards. But yeah, so J.K. Simmons looks like he did win the Oscar in 2015 uh, for Whiplash, and then. Yeah, you had multiple nominees as well, and then a winner for editing as well for uh, Whiplash with I mean, Tom Cross. Yeah, you got film editing. Uh, sound mixing. Sound mixing. I feel like that that is kind of a, like, should be a given there because they did an absolute job at like just the sound as you're watching the movie and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I Music is a big part of Damien Chazelle's thing. So, I mean, we Jazz. saw we saw what he was capable of doing uh, with La La Land. And La La Land, you know, almost walked away with the... Uh, with, <laughs> with the, the end, best picture. The best almost. picture one. But, yeah. yeah uh, but still, like, there's an... Again, there's an appreciation for the craft. There's an appreciation for 
the 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 music and it comes across very much so in this and i believed that the characters in this movie had that appreciation as well i feel like uh, damien chazelle really uh likes to have characters that are very determined in in what they are like set in what they want and they want to succeed in what they want to do you know like for this one it was drumming it was being the best of the best of the best sir <laughs> either way this movie uh definitely i could see why so many people praise it yeah. and uh yeah it's definitely one i will revisit once again uh and yeah the, the appreciation for the music i just want to go listen to the music now for the movie but what did you guys think of whiplash if you watched it back then or you watched it with us our reaction let us know down in the comments below you can also like and subscribe and do the thing on our facebook twitter Tumblr, instagram discord all the social networking ginger and you know where they are kick into the party fuel the party keep the party going on our patreon Vote on the party planning committee on our Patreon to pick the next movie we're going to watch for Better Late Than Never. Thank you guys so much. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. And this party is over. Bye. Bye. Bye.